guys, it's Allison. Welcome back to Financial Flamingo, where we talk about personal finance, budgeting, productivity, and building multiple streams of income so you can build wealth. Today, we're gonna to be talking about the five different ways that I use to keep myself motivated on my debt-free journey, and you can use these tips as well to stay motivated as you pay off your debt. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. So my first tip is to actually write out your financial goals. This is something that a lot of people skip because it can get pretty overwhelming to actually sit down, think out your goals, and create a plan on how you're going to achieve them. I definitely recommend actually creating a plan and giving yourself steps you can follow to reach your goals, including milestones and rewards. Having an actual plan you can follow with actual steps that you can see laid out in front of you will help you stay on track if you get distracted or discouraged. You'll be able to come back to your plan, look at it, see what you need to do next, and get right back on track. Make sure you include milestones in your plan, and then when you hit those milestones, make sure you give yourself some type of reward. That'll just keep you motivated, give you that little win, and just keep you on track to paying off your debt. My second tip is to use some type of visual tracking system, whether it's a pre-made chart you find online, you create your own, you use a spreadsheet, whatever you wanna do, find a method that works for you that you can stay on top of your progress and easily see the progress that you are making. I've been using a chart that I've made myself, so I'll show you here in my budget planner. Um, this was my chart for my first student loan that I paid off and it was just extremely motivating to color this in every time I made a payment. I could keep track of all my progress and I really never thought that I would be so excited to color in a chart with a highlighter but it really does give you a little bit of motivation and just that push to, col to keep, coloring, keep coloring it in make that next payment and get that next win. So I definitely recommend having whatever system is gonna work for you. If you wanna have a big chart that you put on your fridge and color in, if you want a chart that will cover all of your debt, whatever is gonna keep you motivated and pushing forward, it really, really does help a lot more than you would think. My third tip is to find some accountability. So this can be a little tricky because a lot of people don't really like talking about their finances, but I really do think this is important because you really need somebody to call you out when you're starting to be a little bit ridiculous and making excuses. So try to find a really good friend or family, somebody that you trust that you can share your financial goals with, share your journey with, and find somebody that's not going to enable you. So you want somebody that if you buy something silly on Amazon or at Target that you don't really need, they're gonna be like, hey, did you really need that? Um, but you want to make sure that you go into the relationship understanding that they're not going to be there to enable you. You want somebody that really is going to call you out, keep you on track, and keep you from making excuses. So a way that I found good accountability is first off the debt-free community on Instagram. I have kind of transformed my original personal Instagram um, in the debt-free community into my business Instagram, but I still share tips and tricks in my own personal financial journey, and I use that for accountability for myself. If I post something, I really want to achieve it so that I can show others that it can be done. And just to motivate and inspire others, I love seeing other people's journeys on Instagram, and it motivates me seeing their wins, so I just hope that sharing my story will motivate others as well. Everybody's financial situation is different, so not everybody relates to everyone else. So sharing your journey, you might find somebody that relates to you who didn't really relate to that many other people and you could motivate each other. Something that I've recently started doing is my Flamingo Fundamentals membership. And the point of this membership is partly to give the members and myself financial accountability. So we share our goals, share our wins, share questions and things that we need help with. And it's really just been a great way to chat every Tuesday during our live streams and hold each other to our goals. Um, it's really been honestly great for me because I really just want to, um, if I share my story, then I'm hoping that the other members will be willing to share theirs as well and we can all help each other out. That's really my goal with this membership is to provide a place where we all can talk about our financial goals um, with other like-minded people with the same, t same similar goals. Um, since most people don't like to talk about their finances, you know, with their coworkers or um, their friends or family, just because it is kind of a subject that a lot of people are not comfortable just talking about 
in general company. So this is kind of a place where you're meant to talk about it. You can share whatever you want to share and get help with what you need. So enrollment is actually closed, but it will open the last week of July. I will put a link down below if you want to join the waitlist. But if you could find some type of community like that, or if you want to get a couple friends together that do a similar type thing where you share your wins and your goals and ask each other for advice, that is something that you could do to build a little community where you all can improve your own financial situation without having to make yourself as uncomfortable trying to, you know, talk to um, a friend that doesn't really want to set financial goals or something like that. So finding a community and finding accountability can definitely go a long way to keeping you motivated and finding help when you need it. My fourth tip is to surround yourself with things that are motivating. So whether that is listening to a podcast that you really like that gets you pumped up about hitting your financial goals or um, a, if you want to follow debt-free accounts on Instagram uh, or Facebook, there are a ton of good YouTube channels out there. I will link some of my favorites down below if you want to check those out. Whenever I start getting discouraged or feel like I just can't stick to my budget, um, I will watch some of their videos and it really just will kickstart my motivation back. It'll get me back on track because um, see, just me personally seeing other people's wins really gets me motivated to also work on my goals and achieve the things that I want to achieve. So if you can find YouTube channels that you love or podcasts, um, whatever it may be, find things that motivate you. Um, encourage you, provide information on financial topics or about setting financial goals and listen to and watch those things often. It really will keep you on track and keep you motivated. Just make sure that you're consuming motivating content and that will keep you pushing forward. And my fifth tip is to find supportive community. So this goes back a little bit to accountability but surround yourself with people that want to see you win. So if you are constantly surrounded by only your coworkers and all they do is complain about how they have no money and they're never gonna pay off their debt, they're never gonna pay off their car, um, or are constantly buying things that they really don't have the money for, you're gonna start getting sucked into the same mindsets. And not everybody wants to learn about how to improve their finances. Not everybody wants to pay off their debt. And that's each person's choice to make. Personal finance is personal. But if you are on a debt-free journey, you really want to try to surround yourself with people that are working on similar goals and um, at least accept and support you in your own goals. So again, my membership is meant to do that. Um, find a couple friends, like I said, and kind of get a little group together where you share your goals and financial wins. Um, share with your family if they're receptive to that. I will talk to some of my family members about my fin financial situation sometime and we will swap ideas. I also of course talk to my boyfriend about finances. We talk about money all the time. Of course we do own a house together so we do have very very similar financial goals. We are working towards the same things but it is just nice to have somebody that is with me all the time that has the same financial goals. We can bounce ideas off each other and we can keep each other motivated and on track. So if you can find people around you that you can bounce ideas off of and know are gonna support you no matter what happens in your financial journey, they'll just be there to keep pushing you forward and you can push them forward as well. So finding a really good community to surround yourself with will also go a long way towards keeping you on track towards paying off your debt. So those are the five things that I try to do to keep myself motivated and on track during my debt-free journey. We all know that paying off debt is generally a marathon and not a sprint and it does take quite a lot of time. I am not a patient person and it definitely takes a lot of patience. So having routines and community and support in place to keep yourself on track is really important, especially having a plan that you can go back to if you get distracted or discouraged. I really, really recommend trying some of these tips if you're starting to feel discouraged or feel like you're never gonna make it on your debt-free journey. You can, you totally can. It'll just take time and patience. 
keep yourself motivated and stay on track. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope these tips helped you out and gives you some ideas on how you can stay motivated. If you did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I put up new videos every Tuesday and Saturday about personal finance, budgeting, and building wealth through multiple streams of income. I will leave any relevant links and all of the videos and other things that I talked about in this video that I wanted to share with you guys down in the description box. But I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.